All right, here's my demonstration today of opening up the bottom panel on the Toshiba E55 series in order for you to get access to RAM, the hard drive, or the battery. First thing you want to do is get all the screws out. There's 12 on the bottom of this particular unit. What I use is a very small Phillips head with magnetic end. It makes it easier for pulling the screws out once you've loosened them up. The other tool I use is a small flathead tool, small parts tool. You can buy it at any Dollar General store. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to get to the back corner where your power input is at. You're going to want to lift up the laptop, get this into the hinge point, and, and apply pressure against the top or the bottom of the casing. Always against the plastic, never against the actual components. Get into the hinge closer to the left side of that corner and give it some pressure. There, it popped. All right, I'm going to use my thumb, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the entire section. I'm probably only going to get to this one side over here before the whole unit comes up open. The key is getting in in between both pieces and applying pressure up and you have to apply enough. Don't be too scared. It's not going to crack the entire plastic. This, the, this structure is fairly strong. So get in there, apply some pressure upwards. There it is. It popped up. And Now this one here, because I've already opened it, it's already fairly loose. But what you may have to do is, is you may have to come down and run along the side of the unit and or come along the back Get in there, pop it open, pry it open until the actual whole unit pops open, and then you can lift it up. And what we got here, components you're going to want to replace in this case would be the RAM here, your hard drive, and if necessary, and in the future if you need to replace your battery, it's right here. Putting the back on, it's fairly straightforward. You line it up with the frame. You can apply pressure throughout the entire laptop. Now this is where you're going to have to pick it up and probably see where you got components that it doesn't really like to attach too well. So you got to give it an extra little snap. Once you do that, you just go around the entire unit, make sure it snaps on. Around, and then there, and then that is it. Every part of it. It's good. Then you go ahead and put your screws back in and you're done.